Hey everybody, today we're going to the core. We will be discussing what a core banking system is. Stay tuned. What is a core banking system? A core banking system is the software that is used to support a financial institution. Actually, the name says it all. It's the core. It's the core as in it's central to just about everything a bank or a credit union does. A financial institution really can't survive without a core. A core does most of the basic elements of banking. What are those basic elements? Well, it's used for the making, managing, and servicing of loans. It's used for the maintenance, maintaining, and storing and opening of accounts, even new accounts. It's there for the processing of cash deposits and withdrawals. It's there for the processing of payments and checks for calculating interest. It's also there for customer relationship management or CRM activities. It's there for all the managing of customer accounts. It's there for establishing criteria for minimum balances, for interest rates, for the number of withdrawals that are allowed, and so on and so on. The core does so much. It maintains all records for all of the bank's transactions. It may be very hard to imagine today, but before the 1970s, all of these types of actions, they could take a day or more for transactions to register within a bank account because each branch had its own servers, if they even had servers. And before there were servers, well, this was all done by hand. Can you even imagine? The data from each branch wasn't synced until the end of the day at the earliest after all transactions had been completed for the day. Could make for some long days. Could make for some lost transactions too. Nowadays, core banking features can differ depending on the specific type of banking the institution is in. Retail banking, for example, it's geared toward individual customers. Whereas we see wholesale banking, it is business conducted between banks. And there's even things like securities training, which involves the buying and selling of stocks, shares, and so on. The core banking systems are often specialized for a particular type of banking. They can even be specialized for a credit union versus a bank. Products that are designed to deal with multiple types of core banking functions are sometimes referred to as things like universal banking systems. Core banking is really a banking service that enables network branches, that are branches that are connected to each other, to share data between those branches and to do so rather quickly. The software and network technology available today allows banks and credit unions to centralize record keeping and to provide access to the same account information regardless of location via physical bank branches, the ATM networks, and that's the ATM networks within that financial institution, the bank's website, maybe even the financial institution's app. And nowadays, it's getting to where we see Alexa and Siri even doing it. As we move forward with real-time payments, it's going to be even more important that core banking systems keep up with the industry. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a marvelous Monday. As always, please feel free to email me, kevin at paymentsprofessor.com. And if you would like more, you can always go to our YouTube channel, or you can go to the Payments Professor website.